I'm Steve Ryan, and this is Tablet Tips. In this episode of Tablet Tips, I'm going to be reviewing the Satellite R25 Tablet PC. This is essentially the same as the Toshiba Satellite R20, however this model has a slightly better screen resolution and a few other minor features that won't make much difference to you. This is a really nice laptop, at least I've always found it to be. I take all my notes on it, it works great for that. It's of course got an optical drive like many of the other uh, Toshiba tablets in the 14 inch range, of course all tablets probably will have them. Really handy, I loved, that's one reason I bought a, tab a 14 inch model. Uh, it's got an active digitizer pen which is in my opinion better than the, the passive digitizer. Um, got a nice touch pad on it, real sensitive for those of you who are in who really like sensitivity. Uh, it's got wireless capability, uh, 100 megabit per second ethernet, and like I've said, 14.1 inch screen. As with many of the Toshiba models, the screen does have the protective film over the top of it, so you can get junk built up behind that. Minor irritant, really. I don't worry about it so much. My screen wobbles slightly. Not so much as the 12 inch models. The heavier screen, it kind of forbids that to some degree. This model comes with a, uh, where you can purchase an accessory with the Toshiba Slice extension battery, gets your battery life up a bit. With just the primary battery, I get a little over two hours battery life, so I don't go for the Slice. I can plug in and recharge. But if you're going to really multitask or anything like that, you might want to go for the Slice. Okay, some other features of this tablet. Fingerprint reader, fairly standard now. I, I like it. I've got a billion passwords out there. I try to remember them all. Makes it really easy. Um, the rotate feature on this is really nice. The screen's nice and big, writing on the same size as a piece of paper, really. I, I like it in primary landscape view. Some people like it the other way around, but I find this more comfortable. Um, the, uh, I'm running Vista on this. I really like Vista on this tablet. Helps with my notes and my file storage a bit. Okay, I've got the specs on this tablet are really good. I've got a uh, 1.66 gigahertz dual core, uh, Pentium Core 2 Duo. Nice, uh, nice processor. Runs all my applications: AutoCAD, Solid Edge, uh, Photoshop, anything like that. Real fine, real good. Um, I'm also I upgraded at two gigs of RAM. Any multitasking I might try to do work out real well. Um, that's about it. It's a great tablet for the price. It's kind of mid-range tablet for most of us, and I highly recommend it. Thank you, and keep watching Tablet Tips.